Hi everybody, this is Tanya T. I'm making another low calorie, healthy, fulfilling breakfast for you this morning. I'm making my tutti frutti oatmeal. You're going to love this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my pan with this butter flavored zero calorie cooking spray. Just like that. I'm going to turn my stove on about medium heat and I'm going to put my fruit in the pan. And this fruit here, I'm putting one cup because that's a serving size and this is a mixed fruit. It has strawberries, peaches, pineapples, and mangoes in it. And it is 60 calories. 60 calories for one cup. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some vanilla extract in that. I just used a cap to measure it out. Um, it depends how much you like vanilla, but I really like vanilla, so I'll probably do two to three capfuls. Two. And there's my three. Just depends on you and what you like. Anyways, we'll go ahead and let that start cooking for a minute. This is a pretty quick recipe too. See it's starting to steam already. Let this cook for just a couple minutes. This entire recipe ends up being um, 210 calories and it's really a lot of food. I usually end up separating it into two portions and so that ends up being just 105 calories uh, each time that I have it. I save the other portion for either breakfast the next day or a snack for later. Um, it's a nice snack to have because it fills you up when you're hungry and it's very low calorie. Kind of takes care of the sweet tooth. If you have a sweet tooth, it takes care of my sweet tooth anyways. Makes me avoid those cakes, those cookies, those donuts. Just keep letting this simmer for a minute. Sometimes you have to add a little bit of water, not unusual. Don't want that vanilla to burn, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my water from my one cup here. Just a little bit, not much. I like to chop these fruits up a little bit. I like to chop the fruit up a little bit here. That way I get more throughout the bowl. When we're completely done making this, I'll uh, measure it so you can see how much you end up with. It's, it's really quite a bit of food. Very filling too. Oatmeal is very filling. Very heart healthy for you. Has a lot of nutrition. Not to mention, you know, the berries and the other fruit that's in it is also very nutritious. Easier way to do this. I could get I could get a knife, huh? <laughs> That's okay. This is good. All right. Next thing I'm gonna next thing I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to sprinkle in some cinnamon. Just put in as much as you like. Again, I love cinnamon. I love vanilla. So, oh, it's good. Okay, then I'm going to put in my oatmeal. I have a half a cup of dry oatmeal. That's the serving size. It says uh, half a cup is 150 calories. There you go. I'm going to add my one cup of water. And this will cook up in just minutes now. Then add your sugar packets. I like to use uh, Equal, Splenda, Stevia, any of those will work. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these packets. Um, it just depends on you and your taste and what you like. Uh, and uh, how many you use is up to you too. I like mine to be pretty sweet, so I use quite a bit. Let's stir this in. Oh, this is so yummy. I really love this recipe. And you can do this recipe with any fruit, uh, any frozen fruit. I use strawberries. I use uh, different berries. There's like a mixture of berries. I use blueberries. You can use apples. You can cut up apple when using this. Um, anything. Just make sure that you figure out what the calorie content is of the fruit that you're using and uh, make sure that you count all the calories going into the dish but um this fruit here it just it makes such a large portion with the fruit and by uh, using I use the old-fashioned oatmeal which is the oatmeal that's not been chopped up fine because it absorbs more of the water and it just makes the portion size a lot bigger and just keep stirring that and I let it cook a little bit because the more you let it cook the more water absorbs into the oatmeal the more oatmeal you get okay I'll go ahead and turn my stove off but I can keep it here and stir it a little longer my burner's still hot and it'll absorb more of that water and it'll be more oatmeal so like I said this is 210 calories for the entire portion but, and you can eat the entire portion, you know, just as long as you have the calories for it. And seriously, a lot of food for, a lot of food and very filling for the amount of calories. Okay, let's see how much we have here. Um, I don't want to burn up my cup, but I want you to see in the window there. Um... Put this in and see how much we have. Oh wow, it's really filling this cup up and this measuring cup is a two cup measuring cup here. I will see how much we have. All right, how much do we have? That is almost two cups. That is one and two thirds cup of oatmeal. So I'm going to half that. I'm going to have uh, half of it this morning for breakfast and going to work today. So I'll take the other half and I'll take it to work with me and uh, warm it up for later. So good warmed up. I When I warm it up I add a little more water to it and stir it in and uh, another thing you can add to it is some butter spray. butter spray makes it all that much more delicious and here's the butter spray that I use you can use this kind you can use I can't believe it's not butter butter spray but uh, this is zero calories don't want to go overboard with it because I think it starts to add up calories after so many squirts of it but you just squirt this right in like this about 15 squirts and you get a nice buttery flavor you can use this butter spray on about anything and I do <laughs> alright y'all have a nice day thank you so much